Hey, so you're building a data entry form and you want several fields to be required. But just sometimes. On this form, the user has the option to receive our newsletter via email or text. The email field should be required, but only if the user selected send via email. And the phone number should be required only if the user selected send via text. How do we do that with Angular Signal Forms? In this video, we detail how to build conditional validators and try out the new value of function. Let's jump in. I'm in VS Code with my Star Wars vehicle sales application open. We're looking at the newsletter subscription form component. If you are new to Signal Forms, check out my Signal Forms first look video to see how we created this form. Here is the signal for our form. It's of type subscription and is initialized using the initial data constant. And here is our form. It takes in the form model signal and a schema defining the validation and other logic for our form. The subscription interface, initial data constant, and schema are defined in the subscription.ts file here. This is the subscription interface, including the email and phone fields, along with the fields for the checkboxes, send via text and send via email. The initial data constant initially sets both checkboxes to true. Scrolling down, in the schema, we define both the email and the phone to be required. I'm already running this application. Bring up the form, and we see that both the email and phone are required, even if the checkboxes aren't set. But we only want the email to be required when the email checkbox is checked. And we only want phone to be required when the text checkbox is checked. Let's go back to the code. Set conditions on validation using the when option in the validator. For our email field, we want the required validator to be conditional on the send via email checkbox. I'll first reformat the required validator options so they are easier to see. Then add a comma and the when option. Specify a callback function. Return true from this function to run this validator and false to skip this validation. In this example, return true when the send via email field is true. But we don't have access to the model signal or our generated form from here. So this code won't work. How do we get the value of some other form field from inside the schema callback? Angular provides value of to get the current value of a field from the schema path. It's designed specifically for use inside schema callbacks when defining logic for the form. First, pass a context object into the when callback function. Specify value of. Technically speaking, this destructures the context object. Value of is a helper method provided by the form's field context. Then in the function, call value of, passing in the schema path to the field. In our example, the path is root path dot send via email. This returns the value of the field at this path. The email field is then required when the value of the send via email checkbox is true. So value of takes a schema path, returns the current value of that field, is automatically reactive as form state changes, and it works for single and grouped fields. Notice that we didn't make any changes to the component or template. Let's try out conditional validation. Bring up the form, leave email blank, and we see the error message. Uncheck the email checkbox, and the email field is no longer required. It works, yay! But there are several issues. It would be more clear to the user if the asterisk was only added when the field was required. We'll fix that in a moment. We should add validation to ensure at least one of the checkboxes is checked. That requires cross-field validation, which we'll cover in a later video. And we need similar conditional validation for the phone number. Back in the code, let's try another way to define a conditional validator. 
Instead of when, we'll use apply when. Apply when applies a condition to a set of validation rules or a set of fields. Say that we want to apply our phone field when clause to both required and min length rules. Yeah, not a great example, but you get the idea. Imagine applying a condition to a set of group fields, such as an address. First, let's delete the existing required validation for the phone. Then call apply when as a validator. Pass in the path. In our example, it's rootpath.phone. Then add our condition. I'll copy the condition from here, paste it here, and change the path. Send via text. The last parameter of apply when is the schema for this path. We define an arrow function. This function takes in the defined path, which in our example is the phone path. I'll name it phone path to be clear. Then we provide the set of validation callbacks. I'll paste them in. When the send via text checkbox is checked, the phone is required and has a minimum length of 10. Use when to apply a validation rule or other logic when a specific condition is true. Use apply when to apply a condition to multiple rules or to affect multiple fields or an entire field group. To try out apply when, bring up the form, leave the phone number blank, and we see the required validation message. Type in four numbers, and we see our min length message. Uncheck text, and we see no validation message. Delete the numbers, and no required message is displayed. It works! Now let's fix the issue with our asterisks. In the template, normally a required field is marked with an asterisk. Let's conditionally add the asterisk by reading the field state in the template. Move the span class within an if block. Set the if condition to subscribeform.email. Call the email field tree node as a function. Then we can access its state signals. For this example, we want the required signal. Add parentheses to read its value. That should do it. Scrolling down, add similar code for the phone number. I'll paste it in. Now our asterisks should only appear when the associated fields are required. Bring up the form. Since both fields are checked, we see both asterisks. Uncheck email, and the email asterisk is gone. Uncheck text, and its asterisk is gone. Nice! The new validation features in signal forms make conditional validation easy. No observables, no event handlers, just declared rules in our schema. But note that, as of this recording, signal forms is experimental and could change before it becomes a stable part of Angular. Have you tried out signal forms? What do you think of its validation features? Drop a comment below with your thoughts or questions. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful, please like and subscribe.